Welcome back to my channel. So today we will see how we can install uh, 3CX on a digital ocean. As before we get started, you need to make sure that you have a, a digital ocean account. You can sign up with any business email address and uh, maybe the need to confirm your identity with a credit card uh, or your ID. Uh, so yeah, so once you're done with the digital ocean, I have already uh, signed in to my DigitalOcean account and the 36 portal. So let's get started. So we already have this system from 3CX. Uh, we got the uh, serial number uh, for this one. So let's start with uh, installation process. All right, so we will be doing a self-hosted. Uh, so we have to select the last option here. And then uh, we will use three digital extensions following the same pattern. Uh, in the platform, you need to uh, select DigitalOcean here and then launch it. So now let's create a 36 droplet. Okay, it will take you to our uh, DigitalOcean droplet screen automatically. So you have to select uh, uh, a droplet according to your. Uh, requirement. So we are doing a test here. So we just use the the basic one, which will be six dollar a month. And we have to select a password there. So oh, let me quickly select a password. Yeah, but remember, this is not the password for your three six admin login. It's just for that uh, for the machine that we're creating right now. It's a droplet. So let's hit the droplet button. Yeah, it will take a couple of minutes uh, before it gets ready. So, oh, let me just check. Yep. It's, it's still taking some time. It, it usually, uh, this process usually takes only about two minutes and it will be ready to use. So, yeah, this is the simplest way to install 3.6 in the dissolution. Like previously, uh, we had to uh, create a machine and then I'll run some commands to uh, to get to the 3CX downloaded to the system and then uh, we were installing from that uh, downloader file within the Debian Linux version of that machine. But now uh, the things are very simple. So yeah, so you can see the droplet is now created. So let's go to this droplet and see. Yep, this is created already. Okay, it's good. So let's go back to my first project and yeah so here you will see an option to get started all you need to do is click in here quick access right we don't have any configuration files so we will be needing a key which we can get from our system so let's go back to the systems and try to find our key yeah it's here so let's copy it there and I'm ready so this is the one which I'm talking about this is your 3CX login and password so you need to remember it otherwise you have to reinstall it if you forgot this one so Okay, let's do the next. This is a static hypey. We're working on um, just leave it as it is. Um, these are the ports which are already open in the firewall. Don't need to worry about it. Now it's trying to uh, activate 3CX. It's again going to take about uh, about a couple of minutes. This process will be taking. And then uh, once it's done, you will be straight away uh, going to the login page for the 3CX. So let's be afraid. All right, guys, so we are back uh, with installation. It took about a couple of minutes and now it's back. So now the process is the same that we usually do with the uh, folder 36 systems. So the first extension created in here, uh, let's give it a name, an email address. And well, for the moment, we will be selecting Europe and US. 
So yes, yeah, now creating PBX. Okay, yeah, so it's all done. You can see that, give me a link to set the password. And that is for uh, the admin login, it's the same password. Right, like we can use it with the admin and uh, uh, the password that we set up, or we can set up a new password and then we can use that one. So, so the same thing. And here is a link to access 3CX. Right, so let's try to access it now. That's not working. That means that we need to add port for yeah you can see here it goes so yeah you can see that we can log in with the same password that we just created okay the firewall is currently having some problem but we need to run a test and give it a moment it should be back online as well yeah so that's all about uh the installation of 3CX with uh, DigitalOcean. And if you have any questions further about uh, the process or you would like me to add more videos, the same topic, uh, just feel free to write on your comments. And if you like this video, please share it with, with other people as well. And we can keep learning together. Thank you very much. You